Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So I have my project Use It Up for my hygiene products here today. These are my Sensi and Bath, Bath and Body Works project, products. I'm trying to use up in this project. <laughs> it's getting late, you guys. Um, so I want to run through the items that I have here in this project. I have some things that I finished. So I have some new things that I'm rolling in. And I want to just hop into it because you guys have a lot going on here. So I'm just going in order uh, exactly like I have on my list. So I'm sorry if it seems like I'm jumping around, but I'm just going from items I've had in here the longest to things we've rolled in and are newer. So let's begin. First thing we have is the Bath & Body Works Body Lotion in Peach Prosecco Macaron. This I'm getting some decent use out of. So this was like a month worth and this was like five and a half weeks worth. So it's a little bit more time, but it is a little bit more progress. I feel like I've been getting a little more use out of this than I had been previously, but I think if I exclusively use this for the next month, I could probably finish it. Just don't know if that's entirely feasible given the other things I have in this project. For weight status, we started this at 197 grams. Last update was 167 and currently today it weighs 120. So we're definitely making progress, obviously visually and in the weight. So that's a good sign. The next item I have is Bath and Body Works Body Cream and Pastel Skies. This I had just been using as a hand cream. And that's essentially just because I already had a body cream in the project. And I also just wanted to get use on this. So that's why I was using it as a hand cream. We started at 250 grams. Last update was 242. And this time we're at 233. So we are making some progress. However, I am actually rolling this out of the project because I have a new hand cream I want to roll in. This is just like my nighttime, like extra hand cream. I hope that makes sense. Um, because the next product is my actual hand cream, which is the Scentsy Hand Cream in Coconut Daiquiri. That we started at 80 grams. Last time I didn't have it for the update because I forgot it at work. And this time it's actually gone. So uh, on our recent trip, I had taken it with me as just like my body lotion, essentially. I know it's a hand cream, but since it's a thicker formula, I feel like I can use it wherever and I, it gets me by. Um, and they are generally bigger tubes. So I feel like it, it does the job. So I took that with on the trip, use it up really happy um just to like move on because it was kind of a summery scent coconut daiquiri so kind of happy to just like move on to something else though I do like that one and I actually have a backup so it's fine uh next we have the Bath and Body Works shower gel in pear mm, wrong one pear berry <laughs> we have two and I'm dropping things off my table that are in the project. Okay, we have Pearberry here. So this is like the most steady progress, I feel like. Maybe a tiny bit less here than here. I actually ended up moving this out of my shower into Corey's shower. I'm not saying this is his progress though, because I've just been using this in that bathroom to take baths I've been using it as like bubble bath. So May he use this? Possibly because he actually does really like this scent. Um, but I'm not attributing all this progress to him quite yet. Uh, we'll see how much it moves in the next month. But I've actually just been liking having this up like in the upstairs bathroom where the bathtub is so that I can just use it for that. Um, and then solely focus on my other body washes downstairs. And I like that it has a pump because I get ready to take a bath and I just go boop, boop, boop. And I just pump it out. Love the bubbles it makes. Um... It's just been really nice. So, and then I don't have to worry about like bringing some upstairs, bringing some downstairs, doing the whole like moving around thing. I just have this up there, use it when I want to do that. Have my other one downstairs. Yeah. So it's definitely under halfway. Um, we started this, uh, the weight was 224. Last update was 191 and now it's 154. So like I said, very like clear progress once again. And the numbers don't lie. So there we have it. Let's talk about the other body wash. Yes, that's next. We have uh, again from Bath and Body Works, White Pumpkin and Chai. So this one I rolled in because it was very seasonal. However, we are kind of getting out of its season, but I want to finish this. So we initially started all the way up here and then we had a pretty good use run and I feel like we've had another really good use run on this. It's kind of not very settled there now that I moved it. Um, but I feel like we're exactly at the halfway point. 
maybe even a snidge above. So when we started, this was at 340 grams. It was essentially completely full. Uh, last update, we were at 282 and now we're at 260. So definitely progress. However, I feel like I'm probably going to have to use this at least the next two months, at least, um, which would be December and January usage. And I don't love that because it's white pumpkin and chai. However, that's the whole point of this project up is project use it up. I said that totally wrong. I feel like this is the whole point of this project use it up is to use it up. That's the project. So I'm going to continue. Um, I have some other body washes in my like downstairs, my shower that aren't in this project that I've been trying to be diligent and not steer away from this too much because I know <laughs> I want to finish this but I have some more like fun seasonal ones and it makes it a little bit harder to focus on this one. So you will see, but yeah, at least two more months with this guy, I have a feeling. Unless I finish the Pearberry and I can like do a rotation into, you know, do another body wash in, maybe move that one upstairs. We'll have to see. It's not looking great at the current time. Next we have, let me grab a drink of my smoothie while I pull up the next product because my throat's getting dry, okay? <laughs> Next we have our scrub. So I have my Scentsy Soak in, or Scentsy Scrub in Winterberry Apple Tea. It looks really rough, I'm sorry, but it lives in my shower. So this uh, is a pot situation, so we only weigh it. I don't mark this, but this is a heavier product, so I feel like you can see progress on it better. Um, initially it weighed 365 grams. It weighed last time at 323 and now it weighs 210. I feel like I'm maybe about halfway through this product and I feel like it's going relatively fast. I love the scent of it. It's totally seasonally appropriate. Um, it just, I'm really loving this and I feel like it's going great. No complaints. So there you have it. I feel like the longer you have those open, the waterier they get. So I'm just trying to like stay consistent and keep using it. I ended up finishing my Scentsy Soak in Snow Kiss Cranberry, which was actually a goal of mine from the last update. So I'm really excited about that. I really just went super heavy handed on it and finished it up because I was like, what, why, why, why not? Like, that's the goal of my project. And I wanted to use it up specifically during like this last update. So I was like, I'm just going to go heavy handed, like, it's my choice. It's my Scentsy Soak. And it was getting pretty old. It was two years old at that point. And I have a lot of others I want to work on. So I just went for it. And I actually finished it up. It was really nice. <laughs> I don't know that I would necessarily repurchase that scent in a Scentsy Soak. Because while Snow Kiss Cranberry was very like body care-esque smelling, I didn't love it towards the end. I feel like just because I let it dry on so long, it was kind of just like, okay, I don't want to smell this anymore. Um, but that's done. So we'll be rolling in a new one. We have the Scentsy Hand Soap and Appleberry, which is my other product that I had on my like goals list to finish, which I actually did end up finishing. So, so exciting because I was like, this hand soap won't die, but it finally did. And I'm very excited. So that's in my empties. Um, the next hand soap we had was cider mill and this one feels so light so i actually marked it and i feel like we're making very good progress also i feel like where we're at here we're on the downward slope so that's a good sign this one pump wise is very um like it has been coming out really really good which i think has helped with this progress so this is a pump i could potentially reuse on some of these others that aren't behaving so well I just really want to get these old style of soaps used up because I haven't used the new soaps, but I have to imagine they're better designed than this. I feel like that's why they redesigned them because these are great. I love the size of them. The pumps and the delivery is just not ideal. So this one, we can visually see some pretty good progress here, but we started this at 236 for grams. Last time it was 187. And now it's at 119. So I do feel like I could finish this up this next, for the next update. This will probably be one of my goal products. We'll see what else I can like pick out here, but I think this might be one of my goal ones. So I might set this aside. Okay. 
we have a lot of products I finished, which is great, kind of in the middle. I, I literally just keep this on this piece of paper and I just like cross things out as I go. So like this is a very manual process. Um, I had in here the pocket back from Bath and Body Works in blackberries and basil that is gone. I have another pocket back in champagne, apple, and honey. And I feel like this one I didn't do very well on. I only got about halfway through it. Um, I've never had a pocket back in here this long, but I think the combination of like traveling, this isn't the pocket back I took with me, just all kinds of things happening. This didn't get the love it needed, but I would certainly hope this would be gone by the next update. This started at 38 grams. The second update in, it was at 36 grams. I think I had only used it like one time because it was brand spanking new. Like it wasn't on my top to use list. So that's why there's like barely any progress at the top. And then this last time now it's at 23 grams. So I'm about halfway through with it. Um, need to show this one some more love. I would hope this would also be gone. I'm going to put this on my goals list too for the next, the next update. We have the body cream from Bath and Body Works in coconut pineapple. So this I feel like is getting a lot of use. I don't know if you can tell it's starting to get to that, that point where you got to really squeeze it. Um, this last time when we rolled it in was at 245 grams and now it's at 150. So feeling pretty good about that. Used up almost a hundred grams. I would say probably essentially halfway through this at this point, if we're accounting for packaging weight. So feeling pretty good about this one. Um, this is my oldest in my collection. This was from the beginning of 2020. Like maybe it even was available. No, beginning of 2020, according to the date. Yeah. So, uh, this is the oldest I have in my collection. So I really just wanted to get it used up and that's about that on that. <laughs> I don't think this will take too much longer, but like I said, I'm trying to balance between these two for my moisturizer. So if I focus on one or the other, I could probably roll one of them out. This one's older. So, but also, ah, I don't know. I, I'll, I don't know. I don't imagine myself picking a focus between one of them because I'll probably get bored and then sick of the scent. So I feel like that's why I rotate. <laughs> Next we have, these are all the things I rolled in last time brand new. So that's where we're kind of jumping around. I had to roll in a new hand soap and I rolled in Bright Cider Life. So this one I used a decent amount on. This one, the pump is not doing as great. It's definitely not pumping out as much, but this is currently at my kitchen sink. So I feel like the kitchen sink hand soap gets the most public use, I guess, if you could call it that. My bathroom probably gets the most use because I'm adamant about using my hand soap in there, but like Corey, um, he sometimes uses the dish soap. So that's maybe a toss up. But if we have any guests over, generally, if they had to wash their hands, they'd probably do it at the sink unless they're in a specific bathroom. But this probably gets the most just like general use. Use. <laughs> I hope that made sense. Um, so this one started for weight at 263 and now it's at 225. I think this one will be in here for a little bit. Uh, I'll move it to the like master bath, my bath, once I finish up the cider mill, but this could almost take all month. And then honestly, I'll probably switch out the pumps too when I do that, because that will definitely help this one. So there you have it with that. That's going to be in here for a while, I think. Uh, I also had the jewel pomegranate soap in this project from Scentsy, but I actually ended up bringing that one to work. And so I'm taking it out of this project. We also had in four soaps in this project because we have four bath four sinks. We have three bathrooms and a kitchen sink. Um, but one of the sinks we actually have the water turned off on because it's in Jemmy's bathroom where her litter boxes and stuff. It's like a spare we have. And we are not currently using the sink because she's using the sink as like a nap space. And so no more to like really go on about that, but we just don't have a soap. So I only have three in here now because we're only actively using three sinks. Um, our baby's high maintenance apparently. So Next for uh, pocket bags I had in last time, I did, um, I had in the fall citrus harvest, which I honestly don't know if I used. Um, the, the weight says that I used it. So it was at 37 grams to begin with, and then it was at 34. I clearly haven't touched this much. I think this was just the, like 
in as my backup, like, oh, when I use these up, this will be my one I use next. Or I potentially have this in my like going out bag, but um, there was a lot of traveling happening and a lot of things going on over this last, since I did my last update. So there wasn't a lot of like going out per se. So I don't know that I really had opportunities to use this. It kind of just sat in my bathroom at the end because I like took it out of my bag, we went traveling, all the things. So this just kind of hung out, but I'm leaving it in because I already have the marking on it. I'm clearly already working on it somewhat and I feel like I could get it used up. Maybe not entirely in the next update, but at least a really good start on it. So I'm leaving it in, in hopes that I can get back on track. I'm assuming we'll maybe start going out a little bit more, you know, I'm leaving it in. Uh, the one I probably got the most use out of for pocket bag wise was my Wicked Apple, which oh, seasonally appropriate for October. However, most of its use was in November. I really want to finish this one up. I used a really good amount of it. This was the pocket bag I traveled with and most of what I used. We started at 35 and we're down to 17, barely any left, maybe like a fourth a fourth to a third somewhere in there so this is going to be one of my gold products as well i think i could get through the rest of this and this easily in this next go so and then i can focus on the fall citrus harvest um okay so for the new products i'm rolling in for this update let me grab another drink of this smoothie we're rolling in five products so for my hand cream situation we rolled out the pastel skies and I'm actually going to roll in this first aid beauty ultra repair cream. I'm rolling this in because I actually just picked up another one of these at the Sephora black Friday sale. Uh, they generally have these on sale. I think these full size are like $40 and they usually run a sale from for 15. It's such a good deal. Um, I totally love it, but I, I, now that I have a backup, I like, I need to get through this one. And I feel like initially when I got this, I was really strict about like, if Corey used it, I'm like, yeah, don't use too much. Like it's a lot of money. <laughs> um, but it says it expires in October of 2023 on the back. I didn't even realize I had an expiration date on it. So I really just want to get through it. I don't really use this on my face. I'm, I think you can, um, but it just really says dry and distressed skin. So I mostly just use it on my hands. Oh, it says the calming formulation may be used on face and elsewhere. I really use it on my hands. If I have like a really, really bad dry spot on my face, I would use it there. Um, or even on my, anywhere on my body, if I'm having like a lot of irritation, sometimes depending what's going on, I maybe don't want to use a scented lotion or whatever the case might be. I can pop this on it. Um, I also just have it kind of sitting in our little like skincare stand. So if Corey wants to pop it on whatever, but most of it is probably going to be used up on my hands. It is just like a, you guys probably have seen this before. It's just like a white, like thick type formula. Um, I, I think it's nice for my hands. It's definitely like very hydrating, like very greasy. Not that it's winter and my hands are like super dry and cracked. It's time. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I just feel like it's a good, like natural switch here and makes a lot of sense. This is newer, this is older, it's expiring, etc. So uh, we're currently rolling this in and it's at 195 grams because this is one of these tubes. Weight is probably the best factor for a while here. So next I'm rolling in another packet back as like a backup. I didn't realize this one was so full, but I think I'll be able to finish the other two. So I just want to have a backup on deck and it's very seasonal. I'm rolling in the bright Christmas morning and this is to the tippity tippity top here. The weight on it is 37, which is pretty standard for the weight of all these pocket backs when they were completely full. So here is this one. Um, I just wanted to get this in because it's so seasonal. It's so seasonally appropriate. I want to get those other two used up so I can get to the seasonal ones, you know? Um, I also have another hand soap. So we officially have three. It is the Winterberry Apple Tea from Scentsy. Like I said, I'm trying to use up all these hand soaps. I think I have like these three we're working on and I have maybe four more not including the one I have at work so we have a ways to go we're getting close um so this one I have barely just rolled in it is at the very top here it's right here um this one has the worst pump of all these three I have to do two pumps to even get kind of close to like it's nowhere close to the side of my with one pump but I, I cut 
the I cut the pump like the straw on the pump a little bit on this one to make it perform better I did that on this one initially but I think I need to make a bigger cut because I have to get two pumps to like get out a little bit of anything and people are like oh do you have the little thing on like no I took that thing off like it pumps all the way down it just doesn't give me much it doesn't push out very much when it pumps all the way down so it's open like it's supposed to be it just doesn't give me a lot of product and maybe that's intentional on some of these soaps but I think how the straw thing is put in there there's not a lot of like it's really I don't know if you've noticed that the Bath and Body Works soaps are like kind of at an angle or they're like curved so that it can like suck the stuff up and not just be like even with the plastic. I feel like these are completely flat on the bottom and so if they get stuck on the plastic it's like fighting the bottle and the liquid to like suck up the straw. That's just my non um like scientist theory here <laughs> uh, but from what I've like seen because these ones I've cut and they seem to work better after I kind of modify them into like an angle tight setup. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Um, regardless, I'm just trying to use up these soaps. But I have in Winter Bay Apple Tea. I think this will be in here for a while because of the lack of pump out, like what's coming out and how full it is. It's at 260 grams currently. <laughs> uh, I also have a new soap to roll in. So if you are familiar with Scentsy, you know, one of the most impossible things is zipping like the Ziploc top on your Scentsy soaps. But this one seems to work uh, for now. I mean, I don't think it's going to work for long once you start getting really, really into it. Uh, but I've used it two times and it's worked so far. So this is the best berry Scentsy soak. I got this in January of 2021. So it is up next to use, not necessarily seasonally appropriate, but we're going for it. The weight of it is 895 grams. It's really heavy. There's a lot in here. The thing I have learned though, when I used up the Snow Kiss Cranberry, don't hold back. Like if you want to use more, use more. I was being so like, oh, I could only use two like scoops of this. Like I was being so structured about how I would use it use what you want. Like, I don't know why I was doing that to myself because at the end it was like, wow, I wish this was done. So I think this one will hopefully go a little better because I'm staying focused on it in this project. Hopefully this project continues. I got a lot to work through. Um, but I kind of just come to the realization, like you can use what you want to use. There's no limit. I think this goes for all products, but I think this one's the one that really made me realize that like, you can use an extra pump of lotion if you want to. There's not a rule that says you can only use so much. It's your own product you paid for it. I hope I'm speaking to someone when I say this because like I really had in my head, especially with the soap, like I can only use two scoops. Who cares? Use five. Like when I ended up with the Snow Kiss Cranberry, I like dumped the rest of the bag. It was like almost empty and I was like, heck no, I'm done with this. Like dump it all in there. And it was the most luxurious bath. I was like, wow, more is more. <laughs> I just like totally came to the realization like, why am I cutting back when I've already paid for these and they're getting old? Like use them to their potential. It says put a cup in, put a cup in. Like, come on. That was me being frustrated with myself. So and maybe you needed to hear that as well. And the last thing to roll in is a hand cream. And since I'm done with the coconut daiquiri, I am rolling in the pink velvet cupcake. I low key forgot I had this. So it is my oldest hand cream. Uh, it was manufactured at the end or like mid 2020, 217th day. Uh, so it was probably for sale in the fall of 2020. Uh, this weighs 35 grams. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this like in this month. Typically in the past, I would be able to go through a hand cream a month, like of Bath and Body Works. I don't know. I feel like I'm not as dedicated as I used to be, but I'm really liking this scent. I kind of got burnt out on this when I had it in the full size body care. I had to declutter it. Um, like I think I just sold it on Poshmark or whatever. Um, cause I just got tired of it, but I'm really liking it in this hand cream. So I'm glad I realized I had this and pulled it back out. Um, it's also, a little bit more seasonally appropriate than the coconut daiquiri was and uh just using it today was the first time i kind of used it and i rolled it in i really like it so that is everything i have 
for the project today. I feel like that was a lot, um, but I have some goals I want to finish over the next month. These are my three like focus products here, all hand washing. <laughs> Keep them germs away, I guess. Uh, those are kind of like my lowest though. I feel like they make the most sense to be my focus products. I don't really like picking more than two to three because I feel like that's just overwhelming, but I feel like we've been doing pretty, pretty well. Like I have been finishing things and rolling things in each time which makes me really happy if I have an update where I'm like I don't have anything to roll out or roll in that kind of makes me a little bit sad so I'm, I feel like I've been doing really good at least in my standards on this project so thank you guys so much for hanging out joining in with this project I know a ton of you have been joining in like on these types of projects I know um or like you guys have done them for a while. I used to do them a lot. It kind of fell off, but now I'm like, I need to get back on. And it just helps me realize like how long it truly takes to use things and what do I really have? Do I need more? You know what I mean? So I have been enjoying this. Hopefully I can continue and I don't fall off the bandwagon. So um, I'll probably wait again, like to get a good month of use to update again. So my updates were kind of happening in the middle of the month. They might happen now towards like more of the start of the month, just so I can get a good month of use. I just like to have an even usage between my lines so it makes the most sense for me. I hope that makes sense to you as well. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.